Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't already know me, my name is Brittany. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I give my ferret a bath. His name is Oswald, he's going to be two years old in March 19th. Um, so that means he's a sensitive little Pisces. So he's very afraid easily and I mean right now he's just chilling, but he does not like baths. Um, over time I'm getting him more adjusted to baths, but I kind of want to share with you guys in case you have some skittish ferrets, you know, how to get them adjusted to the bath. And then they're getting their, them adjusted to getting their ears cleaned as well as their nails trimmed. It's one of the hardest things to do with a ferret. You want it like slightly cooler than what you would have for your own self because he has a lot of fur. So you don't want it to be too hot. Now, to minimize the fear, I'm gonna wait to put him in until after the faucet, like the, the water's not, you know, no longer running. Cause he's shaking a lot right now and he's like, you know, leaning away from the water. So, I'm gonna wait cause that's really loud and scary. Sorry my bathtub looks so nasty. Um, don't know really, don't really know what to do about that. Leave me a comment if you so as you can see, he's shaking, you know, he's visibly like afraid of the water, he doesn't like baths at all. So I'm gonna hold him against me. Make a point to like snuggle with him before the bath, because that way you let him know that he's not in trouble. So I like to make sure you have him, like let him know that you're holding on. And then just start with his butt and his tail going into the water, see? He lifted up his head, leaning towards here like he wants to get out. He's starting to shake more. Just slowly let him put his bo his back feet down. Make sure you keep holding on to him because he wants to know that he's not gonna like drown. And then just, it's okay, it's okay. Gently scoop water on him. Pet him. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And I slowly put his front feet in so he knows he can walk. That's another thing. Make sure the water is only so high that if they can stand up in it. So he's standing, but I'm still going to hold him because his heart's beating really fast, I can feel it. So he's definitely very afraid. You know, he's obviously trying to turn around to get out. And you don't want to be fighting him in the water, it's going to look like you're trying to drown your ferret. Let him walk around, go towards the end of the tub that he can't get out of. See now he knows that he's not going to drown, so that already reduces a lot of fear. So I'm going to make sure he's thoroughly soaked by holding him, so he knows he, I'm not drowning him. I'm just, you don't want to do it too fast because it will freak him out, but I want to get, like, I don't, I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm going to do it quicker than I normally do. So I've got this Holistic Animal Care Organic Shampoo. It can be used on all types of animals, whether it be horses, dogs, cats, ferrets. I think you can even use it on birds. I got it from this website uh, like six years ago, so if I can find the website that I got it off of, I will link it in the description below, but just don't count on it. I'm going to start rubbing it in here and just really lather it up all over him. It's probably the most uncomfortable part for him and me. It smells like flowers though, so I really like it. Feet. I'm sure it goes through his tail. Oh, his little feet. You see his little feet shaking? <laughs> Look at that. Oh. 
Sorry, mister, I gotta make sure I get everything. I don't really do too much cleaning of his face because he really cleans his own face pretty well. So I'll slowly set down his back legs first. Just rinse them out. And by this point, he's a lot more still because he's more aware of what I'm doing. Make sure you turn their head away from wherever you're splashing the water up. Because if you get any sort of water on their face, they're not going to trust you. They're going to think you're trying to drown them. to dry them off. I like to hold them and just gently, <laughs> he does a little back tuck thing. Very gently, just, <laughs> look at that. You can see him lifting up. You just wring the water out of him. I'll squeeze it out of his little paws. Squish, squish. All right, grab this towel. And he will dry himself off. Your ferret may too. I don't know. But as you can see, he just, not on my shirt, runs all throughout the towel and just dries himself off. Rubs himself all over it. But to speed it up, you can just, he just doesn't really appreciate it when I do that because it freaks him out. Why oh, he's licking me? Not on my shirt. Alrighty. That's one clean Oswald. Up next, I'll show you guys how I cleaned his ears, because he hates that more than a bath, um, and high trim his nails. So stay tuned. <laughs> 